This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com slash rogue, use promo code rogue, and get 68% off a two-year plan. 68 is a very specific number. Why don't you think they... Right. And a free month. Most honored rivaled. As I sit by candlelight, consumed with grief over my most recent defeat, I must remind you, I will never relent. This war continues, and my efforts to defeat you are going to continue, even long after my death. I refuse to give you any sort of sucker, any comfort. I know that your time is up. Never will I be cowed. This is a crusade, and I am not going to let you and your kind run rampant across the earth. It is clear now that you do not understand the lengths I will go to so that I may drag you down into the bowels of hell itself. Yeah. Master Brushwood? Yeah, yeah, what's up? I have a package for you. From Amazon, right? <laughs> not nearly that far, sir. Is that Zappos? Uh, the no, shoes? I'm less than you I apologize. It's from Master Murphy, who told me to tell you. Wait, uh, uh, ooh, me, uh, that's not I'm our not doing relationship. That right. Hold on, hold on. That, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it feels like this one's still open, am I? Right. right. Okay. No, it's, it's not. Um, last time he sent me anything. Uh, it's fine. It's great. You're great. What are you, Giles? Have a great day, sir. Jimothy. Uh, okay, okay. I don't know. <sighs> sir, sir, sir Timothy. It's. It's. I mean, we've talked about steganography, but it's always been in the context of digital images with hidden meanings behind it or photographic images. But I never thought about steganography in terms of words within words. I guess now that I say it out loud, that sounds dumb. <laughs> well, originally, one of the ones we're going to talk about is the card and grill, and it was popularized by this man about town philosopher nobleman by the name of Girolamo Cardano. Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. He was a 16th century nobleman, and he would use this thing that became known as the card and grill to communicate with his other fancy friends. They would send letters to each other about, I don't know, dinner parties and the ruffles on their clothes or whatever. I, you know, whose blood was the tastiest? Yeah, probably. Yeah, how many peasants did you purchase today? <laughs> he probably didn't invent it. It was used way before that in like ancient China, but he did popularize okay. it. But the important thing is you're writing a letter and there's something you lay over the letter that removes the noise and only gives you signal. Yeah, it's a stiff piece of paper or some hammered flat copper that you could use and it would have little messages actually visible in the holes cut into the paper. So you would look at the letter and see, okay, this is just a letter, a normal letter about banal business. But then when you place the card and grill over it, it would reveal specific words or just letters in the words highlighted through this grill that would spell out the actual message that he wanted you to get. So number one, how would you know what grill to use? And number two, when in history was the, like was this like a vital revolutionary war thing or something? Uh, this, well, the Cardin grill in the 16th century was mainly used uh, from Mr. Cardano for fun, just to communicate with his friends. And it was better than a cryptogram because the cryptogram would obviously be a mystery, like, right? Th right, the moment you get a bunch of numbers and letters all mashed up, you're like, well, there's something tricky here. Exactly. If it's just a letter nobody knows, which right. made it perfect for Sir Henry Clinton, a general in the British Army, to start using those in the 18th century for uh, revolutionary war communications to try to trick the, the revolutionaries. So I would imagine that's especially important if you have an undercover spy somewhere who needs to be able to uh, be keeping common communication that seems totally innocuous while conveying super important sensitive information. Right, and with the card and grill, your recipient would have the grill, the same thing that you had, kind of like the one-time pad. Are, are these actual messages that are encoded? No, these are not messages. This is your key. When someone out in the field sends you a message, you're going to use your first key. I would imagine it would become even more powerful if 
you had multiple car carton grills, you yeah. said, and then you were able to indicate, you know, with a number or a letter or something where, which one of the keys you want to put oh, over it. Exactly. And one of the other methods that uh, Sir Henry Clinton, I keep wanting to call him Sir Henry Cavill, but that's Superman, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, General Clinton would use was uh, a mask letter, which is G General George Clinton. Uh, General the P-Funks. Yes. The P -funk from the mothership. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Dearest Bootsy. <laughs> <laughs> Please send me 30 units of funk. Post haste. <laughs> Move your ass and the rest will follow. <laughs> the mask letter was similar to the card and grill and also another method of steganography because they would have this letter and the grill, such as it is, was just a shape cut out. It wasn't highlighting specific words. It would highlight the message that was hidden within the center of the message itself. So that's more like a spotlight where it's yeah. just like, forget everything except for this part right here. Right, right. And that one was probably a little bit more difficult to hide it because if you weren't careful, it would be obvious that it was staged, that the words weren't sounding right, that all of these sentences were like, wait, everything sounds really strange. I know there's a code hidden here. So you would have to have really good penmanship yeah. and be able to fake the message really well and make it sound completely innocuous. Yeah, so in other words, you don't want to be so obvious like, this is the bridge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is the Shakira bridge in the middle of this rap song. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I wonder if I could tell the difference between the two of them. Because I know I know you wrote a couple of letters. Well, Brian. I, I, okay, all right. Are, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, so I have two different letters here. Don't, don't, don't tell me which one is which. Okay, well, one of them is clearly written first. Okay. So I'm gonna give you, you can read this whole thing. Yes. You can read it out loud if you like. This one is the first one. All right, we'll put the full text. My goodness, is this really your handwriting? No. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> we'll put the full text on the Scam Stuff channel. Uh, <clears throat> most honored rival. As I sit by candlelight, consumed with grief over my most recent defeat, I must remind you, I will never relent. This war continues, and my efforts to defeat you are going to continue. Weird loving letter for somebody to write their enemy. You underestimate me, even now. The bitterness of defeat is only the beginning of your sorrows. Vi Victus, Jason Murphy. I have a shockingly strong suspicion what the secret message was. Oh no! I was afraid there, there's... There, uh, don't I, spoil it. I will not. But, but just know, this mentalist just put his prediction in his envelope and we'll find out. I bet you're probably right. The whole time I was like, man, I don't know about using that one word over and over. Uh, all right, all right. Are you ready for the next yes, one? Yes, the next one. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Dear wretched maggot, when I sat down to pen that letter to you, I was deep in the grip of gelatinous concoction, some deviants placed upon my doorstep. The hours, oh wait, I remember doing that. Okay, so this was left on my front porch. Vi Victus, you stupid jackass, Jason Murphy. This is great, because I can tell something is up, but I have no idea which code I would use for which of these. I thought, knowing that, uh, what was the name of them? The one was a spotlight, and the uh, other was... There's the mask letter, yeah. which is the one like the spotlight, yep. and then there's the card and grill. These sound like virtually, I mean, they're threatening letters that if you were an undercover spy, would read on the surface like, you know, taunting someone. All right, let me see. Okay, so... Here's our grill, Yep. right? And then here's our mask letter. Okay. Now I want you to try to figure out the first one first. Okay, so, uh, all right, so here. First one first. Which you want to try, the yeah, grill or the mask? I'll try the grill. Okay. With the grill, I line it up and I get eat, fuse to, never will, of the, the last wasi, Emerge. I mean, this very clearly Nailed doesn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My secret it's, message. It's Klingon. All right, all right, <laughs> all, right, all, right. all right. Give me, give me, give it's me. It's a the... code within a code. <laughs> give me the spotlight. Hmm. Ooh, that does line up nicely. <clears throat> the Earth. It's the length. The bowels. You gotta flip it. Ah, oh, look at that. Flip it like this. Try, try that one. Yeah. All right. There you go. No, this one doesn't. And my no crusade. So, all right, then. K 
connecting to out of I will. Oh, oh there so, oh, all right, all right, all right. You, a now that I may, efforts. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, how many ways are there to turn this? <laughs> okay, so yeah, this can't be it. This can't is be it, it. Is it not? I'll Hang try on. it on the other letter. It's got to be the, the grill. Uh, uh, I honestly can't remember now. This is great. <laughs> Can, can you imagine on the battlefield, everyone with their red coats like, hold on, <laughs> exactly. turn it around. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, come over here. Oh, there it is. And I was so right. I knew it. I knew you figured it out. <laughs> never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and desert you. <laughs> That's so good. OK, all right. So I, this one I don't know. Is, is it more of the same? No, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally the joke is that you keep doing this. <laughs> the clevering of ah, oh, there we go. Never going to make you cry. Never going to say goodbye. Never going to tell a lie and hurt you. I, That's great. I couldn't dude. put the example show in there. No. So man, I had to do. No. It. I had to. I had to revolutionary Rick roll you. Dude, it's a real testament to the fact that I was able to smell something and even something that obvious and yet couldn't find it. And, and even when I had the key, couldn't find it. All right, this is super crazy fun. I, I we, we don't normally solicit this, but can, can we invite everybody? Like we have a public address that people can send stuff to. Yes. It's in the comments down below. Do that. Will you guys send us hidden letters? Oh man, I can't believe I said that. Uh, make them clever, make them things we're proud to share, and uh, make sure to check out our sister channel over at scamstuff.com. This was amazing. I'm this glad is you like so it. so good. Yeah. Send it to us and we'll read them on our sister channel, Scam Stuff. That's uh, youtube.com slash scam stuff where we're able to get a little more playful and we'll see if we can figure out what you guys are really saying. Please make it nice. I'm uh, really worried. I am too. I'm really concerned. Hey man, this is good though. This is good. Uh, yeah. In an alternate reality, the Brits won and it was thanks to this. You got a story. More of a parable. It's a new reason that I never thought of to use a VPN, specifically our friends over at NordVPN. Okay. Friend of mine live during a podcast. Turns out his apartment is close enough to the Starbucks that his computer just slipped on over to the free Starbucks because once you've done a Wi-Fi, it trusts it or whatever. So without even knowing it, this dude was suddenly on public Wi-Fi, where anybody at that Starbucks oh, can be no. watching where he's going, what he's, what websites he's oh, visiting. Oh no! Yeah! Oh no! That's no. why you gotta have NordVPN on all the time. Whenever I'm like on my phone, because you can download the mobile app. When I'm on there and I see that NordVPN is not on, I scream and I throw my phone <laughs> and I tell anyone that might be listening that some crazy person on the bus grabbed my phone and was surfing to all sorts of. It doesn't matter. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> What's funny is the moment you said NordVPN and scream, I just had a flashback. They blew it up! What they blow up? Net neutrality! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! What are we gonna do? Oh, we can do Nord! That happened. So, top-notch encryption, thousands of servers, 24-7 customer service. Uh, super fast connection, uh, six simultaneous connections, and an automatic kill switch for when stuff gets really hit. Yeah. Also, it works on your mobile device. What's the important offer? Offer. Uh, go to nordvpn.com slash rogue, use promo code rogue to get 68% off a two-year plan and a free month. Thank you, NordVPN. was popularized by this man about town philosopher nobleman by the name of Girolamo Cardano. Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, but it's he was a- It's pronounced Guillermo. G G Guillermo. Gizmo. Gizmo. El Gizmo. Elmo. <laughs> I'm gonna master all of those accents. I can't wait. I can't wait.